Honestly, one of the best things about Minecraft console, 4J, they would give us a really wonderful tutorial world. And for Bedrock Edition, I think that Bedrock really needs to get these on the game. I think it would be so cool if they can just get them as maps on the Minecraft Marketplace. I mean, 4J are releasing all these texture packs, they're releasing all these wonderful things, but why are they not releasing their old worlds on the Marketplace? I think it would be a really cool little idea for new players and even old players to just go and enjoy. So if I go and click on play beta, as you can see, we have installed pretty much every tutorial world within our fingertips right here. And down below in the description, you too will be able to go ahead and enjoy every single world. So you will find a link down below in the description so you can go and download these and you can just go ahead and enjoy all the nostalgia and things like that. So if I go ahead and click on this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go through each one one by one and I'm gonna go ahead and briefly just go through them and show you each world. And so that way you know on what you're getting. Now if you're new to all of these, then you're basically gonna be in for a treat. And if you've been enjoying console edition for a very long time, then you'll definitely remember most of these worlds, especially for somebody that's a big OG. For me, I began in Total Update 12. So I wasn't actually able to experience all of the old tutorial worlds. Like this world right here, this is Total Update 2. And if you go ahead and get this, then you will be able to go ahead and go back and just take a look at what this world was like. Because there was a little custom village down there. There was also this castle. And I think there might have been a lighthouse somewhere as well. Yeah, there's a lighthouse right there. And that's basically all that they had for this world. This world was a very, very small thing. But I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next world, which was Tato Update 3. This was the update that introduced Redstone to the game for the first time. You also had installed those pistons. And you can also go ahead and still enjoy the same little area over this way. They did introduce a cobblestone generator as well. And if you're wondering, yes, this still works. So if I click on that button, look at that. This still works this very day. Now when I first saw this generator, I was like, there's no way that this is still going to work. Because redstone is very bad on bedrock. But if you go and look at the redstone, you can actually see that it's not actually all that difficult to actually understand. You know, just using a clock to go ahead and use a cobblestone generator and this is still simple redstone so it is of course going to work on the bedrock condition so you can just go ahead and explore this section but that's basically all that they've done for this and now for our next world it's going to be title update 5 so title update 5 gave us a fresh new world as well and it also went in and gave us a little secret area over this way which would go ahead and have a hidden nether portal now also there was another cobblestone generator and i just don't like waiting for those because they're quite boring but as you go ahead and go throughout the section, you will eventually go and find yourself this nether portal. Now the nether portal literally took you nowhere. Okay, they literally never utilized the nether for anything. I kind of think that 4G should have used the nether for some kind of really cool tutorial or something like that. That's to teach you all about the nether type of stuff. But then of course we had ourselves another village section over this way. And I like this village quite a bit as well. I think it's basically all that they've done besides that village over that way. So let's go ahead and look at the next one. So for Tato Update 7, this was basically the introduction of a brand new world. And this was also the same world that they had in Tato Update 11. But Tato Update 11, it did have slight changes. If you were to go ahead and come to this world, then you'll be greeted with this brand new castle. This area down here basically remained the same. But for this castle, it was a really cool thing to actually explore. It gave you a nice little brewing area down that way. It gave you an enchanting area. But it also went ahead and gave you a nice hidden nether portal. That was all the way down this way. But instead of it being ignited, just like the previous one, you have to go ahead and ignite it yourself. And that's basically all that they had here. So then going down this way, they did have a nice little custom desert temple. And if you were to go ahead and traverse this area, then you're going to have yourself a pressure plate. But do not fear, it's just going to go ahead and give you the sword right here. Which luckily, they do not come shooting out of the dispenser right at your face. Because that would be quite bad. Luckily, it just drops to the ground because it's pretty nice. But of course, that was Looting 3 on there. It also gives you a music disc. And that's basically all that they've done for Title Update 7. So as I mentioned, Title Update 11 is basically the same as the previous world. The only difference is that they had that hidden area down there. Now our next world is going to be Title Update 14. So Title Update 14, this was a world that introduced so many cool things to the game. It gave us a fresh new world. It gave us a nice little castle area. It also gave you a jungle. Going throughout the jungle, you're going to be able to go ahead and boat through here as well. Which is pretty nice. You'll find yourself this nice little jungle temple over there. You also have yourself this underwater area. So if you go and come down this way, you're going to be able to go and find yourself a few goodies. And I don't think there's very much down here. When I first actually explored this world back in the day, 
This actually did have a music disc down there, but it seems like there is no music disc down there, which is quite upsetting. But anyways, we also have ourselves a little farming area down that way, and we also have ourselves that tower way down there as well. This was actually the world that got me into Minecraft in the first place, the very first tutorial world I ever got to explore. And I think down this way, there was a, a secret area that you could parkour across. Yeah, it was over that way. But you also had yourself a nice creeper pirate. But you also had yourself a creeper pirate ship. We're gonna head all the way down this way. That was where you can go ahead and do some secret parkour. There was another underwater temple area. And I think there might have been a disc down there as well. And here is Tidal Update 19. Now for this world, this gave us a brand new world yet again. And we also got ourselves a new castle over here as well. So if I were to go ahead and go into this castle, in my own opinion, this was probably a better castle than what we had in the previous one. But if you go ahead and come throughout here, you're going to go ahead and find yourself some villagers. So you can go ahead and do some trading, things like that. You also have yourself just a bunch of really cool things inside the castle. But I really like the design element of this. This was basically when 4J Studios, they began to go all out from this time forward. They began constructing some really awesome worlds. And those worlds, they were one of my favorite worlds that they actually had back in the day. The previous worlds, they were just little compared to all these. But you can just go ahead and look throughout here. Find yourself some beacons. And there's also a really cool section that they actually did put inside of here. And it was actually Stampy's Lovely World. So there was also that castle way down there as well. So you can go ahead and explore that in your own time. But there is Stampy's house. That is the house that surprised everybody. Literally, I was really surprised that Stampy had his own island in the tutorial world. I mean, nobody ever expected it, and he was very surprised as well. Did I remember watching his reaction video? So, Total Update 31 basically gave you a nice little village area, so you can go ahead and explore this. And you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of something that you'd probably find in a downtown section or something like that. So, you got yourself a bunch of houses, you got yourself a nice church, and I remember that there was something hidden at the very top of this church somewhere. I think there might have been the music disc. Yeah, right over here. There was actually this chest, and it gave you a music disc. But I remember they did actually add the slime blocks. But there were lots of really cool things inside of here. And they also went ahead and implemented the old tutorial world inside of this section as well. So that's somewhere throughout the world. I'll go ahead and let you discover that. But this was still a really awesome world. So for Total Update 41, what was this update? Man, I remember I was playing it when we got ourselves this update. But I don't remember which update it was. Oh, that's right. That's right. This was the update that gave us the Elytra. the update that gave us the new end stuff. All right, I remember. And remember when I said that this was when they started making the worlds bigger and better? And this was when they started up in their building game? It literally is the truth. Because look what they did here. They built this section, which was absolutely insane. I remember when I first saw this, I was like, this has to got to be some of the best building that I have ever seen. But you're going to basically find yourself lots of themed areas. You get yourself a guardian statue. You can find yourself a villager statue. Yes, a statue of a villager, which is pretty nice. You can also find yourself a few other things around here as well. But I really, really enjoyed this world quite a bit. Look at that zombie statue over there as well. There is a little cave with lava. I do not remember this. Seriously, uh, does anybody remember the cave? I don't know, but then there's also this mushroom area that had like no villagers inside of there. But it is still pretty cool to actually just see pretty much all these mushroom houses just all over the place. Now wouldn't it be cool if you could find yourself mushroom villages? I think it would have been really cool if you could find mushroom villagers inside of the village pillage update. That just would have been really awesome. So the update aquatic world is actually the final tutorial world that they actually did add in. And for this tutorial world, this was TU70. This is a world that I think many of you might be very, very familiar with because this is the most recent tutorial world that they have on the console edition. The Xbox One edition is the only version of console that did not receive this world. All the legacy versions of the game, they received this while Xbox One was just left in the dark. Because if you remember the Xbox One edition, it was during that stage when we got ourselves to confirmation that Xbox One edition it was going to get cancelled. And they were going to start adding in the Bedrock Edition. This really made people very, very upset. This threw riots all over the place. If you remember that time, just go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. Because it was just absolutely hectic back in the day. But if you just go ahead and come over this way, you will be able to go ahead and find yourself some nice little areas. 
So you got yourself a little farming area. If I go and go down this way, get ourselves a nice little underwater area. So you can go and go down that way. And I think there were dolphins down there at one point. But now there are no dolphins down there at all. So a lot of these things I definitely do remember. But a lot of the things in this world, it's kind of like buried in the back of my mind. Because I have not seen this world in forever. There is a dog statue down there. But I'm going to go down this way. Because the reason why I made it down this way is for one particular reason. This is the reason why I came all the way down this way. Because if I go ahead and just fly down this way, come on, I'm in the water. But I'm going to give myself conduit power. And so we get ourselves our night vision and we're able to see underneath the water quite well. This was actually an underwater version of the last world that they did put inside the game. So as you can see, they literally went ahead and utilized the previous tutorial world that they had in Total Update 41. And they decided to go ahead and use it for this world. And they just went ahead and buried it. And why can't I wave my arm? I have no clue. I'm trying to literally like wave my arm around. And okay, my arm's broken. My arm is broken in the game. Oh my god. I think I think onto a power might be broken. Well, you gotta love betas, right? You gotta love how betas work. But this was still a really cool Easter egg that they did actually introduce this out of here. I kinda think it would have been a little bit cooler if they actually kept the Elytra sign right here. Just make it look like it's all broken up or something like that. But anyways, that's actually pretty much it for our adventures through the old tutorial worlds. And I wanted to go ahead and set this up because one, some people have been asking me every once in a while if there is a way to get a tutorial world on the Bedrock Edition. And while we do have ourselves the Purple Parrot Party Palace, and boy that's still a mouthful in my own opinion, it is still not the same as an old 4G fashion tutorial world. So if you do want to go in and get these, then you will be able to go and find the link down below in the description. But just go let me know your thoughts down below in the comments or what you think of these. Which world was your favorite and which one do you remember the most? If you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!